Good afternoon. This is the 77th, my favorite numbers, regular meeting of the 73rd term of your Baltimore City Council. Um, and, uh, for all the folks joining us tonight, uh, press, uh, visitors, uh, guests, we ask that you please ensure that your cell phones are turned off or at a minimum placed on silent so you do not disrupt tonight proceedings. Um, our invocation tonight will be delivered uh, by the amazing Bishop Damian A. Hinton Sr. He's a pastor of Life Changing Ministries. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome you tonight. Before you go into the invocation, uh, Mr. Bishop, uh, we have a very uh, shared story. Um, in 2000, and she'll kill me if I forgot it, 2008, we found ourselves stuck in the same room for over two, uh, we were there for almost two months. Uh, uh, my daughter was uh, born premature, and his son was born premature, and they were in the same room. Uh, so uh, to see both of them grow up uh, and continue to be amazing young folks uh, in our city, uh, it's definitely our honor and prayer. Um, but there was a lot of praying uh, and blessing in that room for both of them to go on to be who they are today. So with that, we're going to turn it over to you, Mr. Bishop. Amen. The glory. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come and to serve you through the citizens of Baltimore City. We ask you first to forgive us when we have not uh, served your people and your city effectively. Forgive us when we have not heard the cries of those who have been left out and forgotten. Forgive us for not standing for those who are hopeless. Forgive us for not heeding your voice as servants of this city. Father, we ask you to continue to lead and guide Brandon Scott, our mayor, Nick Mosby, the city council president, and every member of this council. As they deliberate tonight, we ask you that your presence, wisdom, and grace abide with them as they discuss the business of the city and its citizens. We pray for healing to come where there has been brokenness. We ask you uh, to visit our city, stem the tide of violence in our streets, and may wealth and prosperity overflow our city through witty ideas, inventions, and entrepreneurial leaders. Our ultimate cry is, Lord, save our city, heal our people, and cause our city and leaders to look to you. Lastly, Father, we want you to lay, uh, release the claim, the promise that you've made in Haggai 2 and 9, that the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. And we ask you now to make this city a shining beacon that all who come here will celebrate what you've done. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Bishop Hinton, at this time, I'll ask everyone to stand and please state the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With that, our first showcase for this evening, we're going to honor and recognize some Baltimore City student athletes. First up, we have Emerson Westside men's basketball team. They went down to uh, College Park and brought back the MPSSAA 1A title uh, state championship for boys basketball. If you guys could please come up and join me on the dais. And I was told by the coach that I forgot to say one, back-to-back -back state champions. Give it up. Come on, give it up. And they also brought home the Baltimore City uh, Championship at Morgan State. So give it up for that as well, the city champions. Do you guys hold it? Who's going to get in front? You come around, coach? Where the coach is at? I'm going to step down. You guys with it. There we go. All right, so let's just act like the Ravens won the Super Bowl and give it up 
for our 1A state champs from Baltimore City. I know you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I think we can do a little better than that. Let's give it up for our young men who are doing positivity in the community. We turn on the newspaper, we, we, we uh, look at a newspaper, we turn on the news, we hear nothing but negative, 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 when we have an opportunity to highlight the positive, um, particularly our young folks in our community, we should do it, and we should do it with enthusiasm. Now next up, we have the Baltimore Polytechnic win women's basketball team. They brought home the 3A state championship, and that was a three-peat, is that right? No, it was a two-peat, double. Uh, uh, Oh, one, you, you missed last year? Uh-oh, I'm sorry, all right. But, but I was close to it. They got me excited when they said back-to-back, -back, but they also won in 22. So come on, give, come on, give a round of applause. There we go. Uh-oh, look at that, look at that. Come on, Coach K. Now the boys did it like this. Come on, I know y'all smart. You, you, the, the boys, they just, it's, it's more you guys, you're right. Come on, Coach K. Coach K, you, can, you come up here, Coach K. Am I the only person that called you that? How you? Where am I going? Right here? You said you with me. And we also want to shout out uh, Coach Kendall Peace. Uh, she won her 400th game this year. Um, so, very well. Uh, and uh, we're going to, uh, we had a uh, first responders thing, thanks to um, acknowledgement, thanks to Councilman Cohen, as well as Councilwoman uh, Porter uh, for some recent tragedies in their district. Uh, and you know, what we're doing right now, we could do it probably 20 times a day because this was truly a unified effort, um, you know, particularly as it relates to the devastation that has occurred uh, responsible uh, 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 by the uh, Key Bridge collapse. Uh, with that, we want to recognize a, a corporate uh, uh, donor who helped out a lot. Uh, they helped uh, some of the folks that were cooking for the first responders almost right on site. Uh, it was the Home Depot store that was really close. Uh, to the bridge. So Mr. Isaac Nichols, he's here representing Home Depot. We have a small presidential citation, if you could come up. And it just reads, go give it up. <laughs> For Home Depot's support of American Legion Post uh, by providing essential items used to prepare food for our first responders. Uh, truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, in witness we of Baltimore has extended its sincerest congratulations and I've affixed my signature uh, to this proclamation on this day. Thank you so much. Thank you.
At this time, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. Uh, before we call the roll, Madam Clerk, for uh, all of our visitors, uh, you don't have to stay. We, we don't, it's not rude if you get up and all walk out. If you would like to sit here and participate and watch the proceedings of the council, you're surely welcome to stay, but uh, you do not have to. We truly appreciate you coming out uh, and all your hard work and support. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. Mr. President, we have a quorum. We will now proceed to adoption of journals. Madam Clerk. Mr. President, the journal for the March 18, 2024 regular meeting proceedings are on the council member's desk. Without objection, the journal will be adopted. Hearing and seeing no objection, the journal is now adopted. Uh, bill signed by the mayor can be found at the beginning of page two of the agenda. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first executive nomination. EA24-0235, Melissa Devro, member, Baltimore City, LGBTQ Commission, District 7. This nomination has been assigned to rules and legislative oversight. Bills to be introduced, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 24-0503, Charter Amendment, Department of Finance, for the purpose of transferring the Department of Finance from mayoral oversight to the Office of the, Com of the Comptroller in submitting this amendment to the qualified voters of the city for adoption. Derek.
time we will go back into session uh, we are in session for the regular meeting uh, the 70, 77th regular meeting of the 73rd term of Baltimore City Council uh, it was already called to order we went in a small recess and now we're back so madam clerk I believe we were on the first bill if you could read the first bill in and then we'll go from there City Council Bill 24-0503, Charter Amendment, Department of Finance, for the purpose of transferring the Department of Finance from mayoral oversight to the Office of the Comptroller and submitting this amendment to the qualified voters of the city for adoption or rejection. Sponsor, Office of the Comptroller. This bill has been assigned to rules and legislative oversight. Madam Clerk, next bill. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Um, we have the co-sponsor, Madam Executive uh, Secretary, if you could please add Councilman Cohen as a co-sponsor to 24-0503. Thank you. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0504, Zoning, Open Space District, Conditional Use Cultural Facility and Parking Lot, Variances CC, Jackson Park and Library, 4910 Park Heights Avenue. For the purpose of permitting, subject to certain conditions, the establishment, maintenance, and operation of a cultural facility and an open all street parking area on the property known as CC Jackson Park and Library, 4910 Park Heights Avenue, Block 4605, Lots 001 through 018, 021, 055 through 065 is outlined in red on the accompanying plat and providing for a special effective date, Sponsor Middleton. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0505, Rental Dwellings, Mode Inspection and Remediation, for the purpose of requiring a rental dwelling to be inspected for mold prior to the prior to the issuance or renewal of a certain license, defining certain terms, providing for a special effective date, establishing certain penalties, and generally relating to rental dwellings and mold inspection and remediation. Sponsor Burnett. At this time, the body would like to recognize sponsor of the bill, Councilman Burnett. The floor is yours. Uh, so what this bill do uh, would do is address a, a long-standing challenge in Baltimore City where uh, so many residents are impacted by mold, uh, and we know that that is a public health issue that impacts so many folks. And so this bill would tie uh, the rental licensing inspection uh, to a mold inspection uh, for folks uh, who are particularly vulnerable. Um, and, you know, I, I do want to thank um, the Baltimore City Mold Task Force. Uh, we've been working on this for several months. Uh, that task force includes uh, housing attorneys, physicians, mold remediation experts, public health experts, uh, community housing advocates, policymakers, and more, uh, all working together to try and combat the negative health impacts of mold and housing uh, over the last two years. Um, we do understand that addressing mold requires a multi-sectoral -sec approach uh, involving collaboration with city agencies, community organizations, landlords, tenants, and stakeholders. Uh, so that we can protect residents from our, our, these harmful conditions, um, which is not only a matter of public health, but also a question of equity, social justice, and community well-being. Uh, and so view this bill as a, a huge step in the right direction uh, to take decisive action to address molds in homes, improve the quality of life for all Baltimore residents, and create healthier and more resilient communities. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Any co-sponsors? <coughs> I see the hand raise of Councilman Torrance, Councilman Cohen, Councilwoman Ramos, Councilwoman Porter, Councilman Dorsey, and Councilman Bullock, as well as Chairman uh, Conway, uh, and, and Council Vice President Sharon Green Middleton. Uh, this bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0506, Manage Natural Landscapes, for the purpose of permitting certain plants and grasses to exceed eight inches in height under certain circumstances requiring the from Luke, Blue, sorry, pronounce that word for me. Uh, promulgation, promulgation. Promulgation of certain regulations defining certain terms and generally relating to managed natural landscapes. Sponsor Conway. At this time, I'd like to recognize the sponsor of the bill, Councilman Conway. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> uh, this bill uh, pretty simply looks at the code as it stands today and real realizes that today uh, the code prohibits weeds and grasses that grow over eight inches. Um, while that may make sense in many instances, we know that many of our native plants in the Maryland area grow over eight inches and should grow over eight inches uh, and may be in some ways looked at as weeds. Um, so this is a native plants bill that aims to encourage folks to plant native plants in their yards. It has benefits for the, for the ecosystem has be benefits for stormwater. These native plants require less water because they grow naturally in our, in our climate. Um, and so we wanna see these plants planted more often and I encourage anyone, uh, all, all of my colleagues to support this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I see the hand raise of Councilman Burnett, Madam Vice President Green Middleton, Councilman Dorsey, Councilman Torrance. Thank you, this bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0507, Study and Report, Infrastructure in Urban Meadows, for the purpose of requiring the Baltimore City Administrator, the Baltimore Office of Sustainability, and the Baltimore Commission on Sustainability to submit a report to the Mayor and City Council assessing the costs and benefits of installing and maintaining 100 acres of low maintenance and self-sustaining native plant communities, otherwise known as urban meadows, and mapping vacant lots in existing areas with pack with pack dirt that could be transformed into urban meadows and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor Conway. At this time, I would like to recognize sponsor Bill, Chairman Conway, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> uh, this bill is in the same sort of nature as the previous bill um, and looks at urban meadows as a uh, potential solution for the city. Uh, my colleague from the 11th, Councilman uh, Costello, has very frequently asked um, about how we manage mowing. Uh, we're probably gonna ask that question again coming this, this session. Um, and when we look at mowing and how much we spend on mowing, where we mow, why we mow, you have to beg the question, do we need to mow? Uh, and so I, I really want to have an opportunity to look at our current mowing across the city and, and figure out whether or not urban meadows can not only help us reduce our mowing, but also save us a little bit of money. Um, it also comes with all the ecological benefits, all the stormwater benefits, and all the other environmental benefits that we want to see that support the ecology in the Baltimore area. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this bill has been assigned to ECD, no, this bill's been assigned to public safety and government operations. I'd also like to elevate on that topic, uh, we have a um, Rec and Park oversight hearing with uh, finance and performance, I believe on Thursday. So obviously that's a question that always comes up to Rec and Parks associated with their performance. Council members would like to attend, please do so. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next bill. City Council Bill 24-0508, City Streets, opening certain streets and alleys bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street. For the purpose of condemning and opening certain streets and alleys bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street as shown on the accompanying plat, on file with the Department of Transportation and providing for a special effective date, sponsor Torrance. This bill is assigned ECD. We would like to hear from the sponsor of the bill, uh, Councilman Torrance, the, bill, the floor is yours. Nope. Nope. Uh, I'm good. Um, this bill has been introduced for a companion bill. This allows us to open, close, and sell Stockton Street. The 2400 block of Stockton Street happens to be a alley street where there were several homes. Um, the community has, has made it clear that they want to create a pocket park, one where they can have passive, enjoyable amenities in their community, but also in the illicit activities that happen behind it. This is an opportunity for us to work with community members to create an environment that is not only deterring crime, but doing it through environmental means, but also making sure as we're doing a bl whole block strategy for redoing the homes that are vacant there, creating home ownership, but also creating a new community that is of the community at the same time and built by the community. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your leadership on this. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could please, um, Madam uh, Executive Secretary, if you could please uh, add me as a co-sponsor uh, for this bill as well. Uh, this bill's been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0509, City Streets, closing certain streets and alleys, bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street. For the purpose of condemning and closing certain streets and alleys bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street, as shown on the accompanying plat, 
or follow the Department of Transportation in providing for a special effective date, sponsor Torn. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, Madam uh, Executive uh, Secretary, if you could please add me to the bill. Uh, Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0510, sale property, certain streets and alleys bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street for the purpose of authorizing the mayor and city council of Baltimore to sell at either public or private sale all its interest in certain streets and alleys bounded by North Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Cumberland Street, and North Cary Street, and a portion of North Stockton Street as marked on the accompanying plat and is no longer needed for public use and providing for a special effective date, sponsor Torrance. Madam Executive Secretary, if you could please add me as a co-sponsor on this bill. Uh, this bill has been assigned to Ways and Means Committee. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0511, repeal of Ordinance 01-284, Home Depot at Rice's Sound Plaza, Planned Unit Development, for the purpose of repealing Ordinance 01-284, which designated certain properties a of business plan unit development known as Home Depot at Rice's Town Plaza and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor Schleifer. This bill has been assigned to Ways and Means. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0512, repeal of Ordinance 01-257, as amended by Ordinance 02-447, Rice's Town Road Plaza Shopping Center Planned Unit Development, for the purpose of repealing Ordinance 01-257, as amended by Ordinance 02-447, which designated certain properties as business plan unit development known as Rice's Town Road Plaza Shopping Center and providing for a special effective date, sponsor Schleifer. This bill has been assigned to Ways and Means Committee. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0513, repeal of Ordinance 99-533, as amended by Ordinance 16-569, New Shallow Baptist Church Plan Unit Development, for the purpose of repealing Ordinance 99-533, as amended by Ordinance 16-569, which designated certain properties of business plan unit development known as New Shallow Baptist Church and providing for a special effective date, sponsor Torrance. This bill has been assigned to Ways and Means Committee. Madam Clerk, next bill. I'm sorry, oh, you want to, I'm sorry. Um, uh, at this time, the body would like to recognize sponsor of the bill, Councilman Torrance. Thank you, Mr. President. This is also about development in West Baltimore. This is an opportunity to work with New Shallow Baptist Church as they expand their senior living facilities. This facility is near and dear to me as it will include persons who are raising their grandchildren in West Baltimore. It gives them the option to add retail at the bottom of the actual facility. This is the opportunity to do development right, but also honor those who are impacting our communities in a familiar way. Thank you. Thank you. This bill has been signed on Ways and Means. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0514, zoning, conditional use conversion of a single family dwelling unit to two dwelling units in the R7 zoning district, variances 3040 Barclay Street. For the purpose of permitting, subject to certain conditions, the conversion of certain single family dwelling units to two dwelling units in the R7 zoning district on the property known as 3040 Barclay Street, Block 35788, Lot 033, as outlined in red on the accompanying plat, granting variances from certain bulk regulations, lot area size, and all street parking requirements, and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor Ramos. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0515, zoning, conditional use conversion of a single family dwelling unit to two dwelling units in the R8 zoning district, variances 223 South Stricker Street. For the purpose of permitting, subject to certain conditions, the conversions of a single family dwelling unit to two dwelling units in the R8 zoning district on the property known as 223 South Stricker Street, Block 264, Lot 19, is outlined in red on the accompanying plat, granting variances to certain bulk regulations, lot area size, and all street parking requirements, and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor, Bullock. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0516, zoning, conditional use, parking lot, principal use, 1211 Jefferson Street. For the purpose of permitting, subject to certain conditions, the establishment, maintenance, and operation of a principal use parking lot on the property known as 1211 Jefferson Street, Block 1295, Lot 001G, as outlined in red on the accompanying plat, and providing for a special effective date, sponsor Stoltz. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0517, rezoning, 
1500-1502 and 1508 DeSoto Road for the purpose of changing the zoning for properties known as 1500-1502 and 1508 DeSoto Road, Block 7765, Lot 7, 14, and 15 as outlined in red on the accompanying plat from the R6 Zoning District to the C2 Zoning District. Sponsor Porter. This bill has been assigned to ECD. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first resolution. City Council Resolution. Hold on one second. Uh, at this time, we would like to give the gentlewoman from the 14th District the opportunity to speak. I noticed there was an executive nominations that we didn't read into the record at the very beginning of the um, agenda. No, we read it. It's the first bill we read. Oh, okay. Thank you. But thank you for trying to uh, ensure we're staying on track. But no, we read it. It's the first bill. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first resolution. City Council Resolution 24-0215R, Informational Hearing, Late Night Commercial Operations. For the purpose of inviting representatives from the Baltimore Police Department, the Board of Liquor License Commissioners for Baltimore City, and the Department of Finance to review the current licensing requirements for clarity, completeness, and intent. Sponsors Costello and McCray. At this time, I would like to recognize uh, Chairman Costello, Late Night Operations. We got you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this is to call a hearing to have the Department of Finance, uh, BPD, and others from the mayor's office to come in to talk about the administration of the late night commercial operations license program, uh, what's required in order to have an LNCO permit uh, denied, and what's required on behalf of the city in terms of community outreach. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, this bill has been assigned public safety and government operations. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next resolution. City Council Resolution 24-0216R, honoring the efforts of the first responders in Southeast Baltimore and remembering the victims of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. For the purpose of honoring the efforts of first responders to the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse and remembering the victims of the emergency. Sponsors Porter, Cohen, President Mosby, and McCray. Are there any other co-sponsors before we move on? I'd like to recognize Council Chairman Bullock, Chairman Conway, Councilman Dorsey, Councilman Burnett, Chairwoman McCray, Council uh, Vice President Green Middleton, Councilwoman Ramos, Chairman Costello, Ch Council. Councilman Torrance. Oh, you want to? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just wasn't sure. Uh, and we have two excused absences from uh, Councilman um, Stokes as well as Councilman um, Glover. Uh, with that, uh, you know, I had the pleasure of standing with. Uh, I'm going to call it to you, so please stand, uh, Councilwoman. I had the pleasure of um, standing with Councilwoman Porter as well as Councilman Cohen uh, on two um, tragic incidents that took place in our city. You know, obviously, this one has garnered a significant amount of attention. I think the, the main focus that we all stress is that the real superheroes in our city are the first responders who are always there for us. And we've seen our, um, our times with incidents in the city of Baltimore. So with that, we're going to go to Councilwoman um, uh, uh, Porter. Uh, before I do so, uh, she was on the ground zero from zero second on. Uh, she uh, did an amazing job of representing her constituents as it relates to ensuring that um, she was being briefed and getting all the information and asking the right questions uh, and head in front uh, from the very second I got there as well. So thank you for your leadership, uh, Councilwoman Porter. You know, it's that type of leadership that we don't necessarily see or we don't necessarily report about, um, but when you see it, you should speak on it. And that's why I wanted to speak about uh, what you meant to your constituents um, that night leading up to the next couple of days. Thank so with that, we turn it over to Councilwoman Porter. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Um, so this is a resolution where we are honoring um, the fallen heroes um, of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Um, earlier this afternoon, we honored them with the first responder ceremony, and this is just an opportunity um, for us in this chamber to honor the lives of the six um, workers that were lost and honor the lives of the first responders um, who have been working tirelessly um, since uh, the, the, the tragedy happened. And so, Mr. President, I'd like to suspend the rules for immediate adoption. Without objection, the rules will be <coughs> suspended. Hearing and seeing none, the rules are suspended.
get to move it. Get it moved. Madam, Madam Sponsor, would you like to move the bill? Yes, I'd like to move the bill, sir. It's been moved and probably seconded. Um, we have to do a roll call. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Co Cohen. McCray. Dorsey. Conway. Schleifer. Middleton. Torrance. Burnett. Bullock. Porter. Costello. Ramos. That's 12 ayes. It passes on immediate adoption. It does. All right. Next up. Is there anybody? Next up, we, uh, if you could please call the next bill. That, that resolution has been adopted. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next resolution. City Council Resolution 24-0217R, honoring the efforts of first responders in Southeast Baltimore and remembering the victims of the Lombard Street Fire. For the purpose of honoring the efforts of the first responders to the recent fire on Lombard Street in Southeast Baltimore and remembering the victims. Sponsor, President Mosby, Cohen, and McCray. Uh, at this time, are there any additional co-sponsors? I see uh, Councilman Burnett, Councilman Dorsey, Chairman Bullock, Chairman Conway, Vice President Middleton, Chairwoman, Chairman uh, Costello, Councilwoman uh, Ramos, Councilwoman Porter. I think that's everyone, that's everyone. At this time, we'd like to recognize sponsor of the bill, Councilman Cohen. Thank you, Mr. President, um, and thank you to our colleagues, uh, Councilmember Ramos and Porter. Um, appreciate the collaboration even amidst uh, intense campaign season. It's good to stand together for our first responders. Um, a lot of times when tragedy strikes, we don't always recognize the folks that are on the front lines for us, not just the incredibly brave first responders, but also the 911 technicians, the dispatch folks, the people that get them there. In the case of this horrific fire that took place on Lombard Street, our folks were there within minutes. Um, I got a call from <clears throat> Chief Wallace. He asked me to come out. It was incredibly chaotic. It smelled of char and death. And it was one of the worst scenes I've ever been on in my time in city council. But our first responders got there. And even though they weren't able to save the lives of those children, they did get them out of that building. They got them to the hospital. And so for that, I am eternally grateful um, for their work and for all the work that went into this. And also the police officer was there, uh, Red Cross, the pastor, Mima, uh, so many folks that have been standing and supporting these families. So with that, Mr. President, I would like to suspend the rules for immediate adoption. Second. Without objection, the rules will be suspended. Without objection, the rules will be suspended, hearing and seeing none. Uh, Mr. Sponsor, the floor is yours. I move the bill. The bill has been moved and probably second. At this time, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey. Aye. Conway. Aye. Schleifer. Middleton. Aye. Torrance. Aye. Bur Burnett. Yes. Bullock. Aye. Porter. Aye. Costello. Aye. Ramos. Yes. That's 12 in affirmative. This motion is approved. The resolution has been adopted tonight. Uh, thank you so much for the full participation on that. Uh, you can find, uh, and thank you, uh, Councilman Cohen, uh, not only uh, were the first responders there, but uh, the victim, uh, their mother was there, and she had a chance to participate uh, in the ceremony as well. So that was a really nice gesture. Uh, you can find the consent calendar in section A at the back of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved and seconded. It's been moved and probably seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it, the consent calendar carries and is now approved. We'll now move to bills on second reader. Before we do so, I'd like to recognize Chairman Costello. Mr. President, thank you. I emphatically move that we read short titles for second and third reader for the duration of tonight's meeting. Without objection, we'll be in short titles for duration of today's meeting. Hearing and seeing none, we are in short titles. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill in ECD. City Council Bill 23-0432, rezoning 3301 St. Paul Street and 3311 through 3327 St. Paul Street. At this time, I'd like to recognize Vice President of City Council and Chair of the Committee. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, bill number 23-0432, was uh, this bill was heard on April 2nd, 2024. It was voted favorable as amended. 
There are uh, amendments on my colleague's desk. I move the amendments as favorable. Second. The amendments, uh, there's, it's been moved and proper and second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, the amendments are adopted. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And there are findings of fact on my colleague's desk. I move the findings of fact. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The findings of fact are now adopted. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And I move the bill um, favorable as amended. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The bill has been moved as amended and will be printed for third <coughs> reading. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0433, Plan Unit Development Amendment, North Charles Village. At this time, I would like to recognize Chair of the Committee, Vice President Sharon Green Middleton. The floor is yours. Thank you. Bill number 23-0433 was also heard on April 2nd, 2024. It was voted favorable as amended. There are uh, committee amendments on my colleague's desk. I move the amendments as favorable. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments moved. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And there are also findings of facts on my colleague's desk. I move the findings of fact. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, Madam Clerk, Madam Vice President, the floor is yours. And I move the bill favorable as amended. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The bill will be printed for third reading. Madam Clerk, if you could please call in the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0468, Off Street Parking, Affordable Housing. I would like to recognize Vice President of Council, Sharon Green Milton. Thank you. Bill number 23-0468 uh, was also heard on April 2nd, 2024. It was voted favorable as amended. There are committee amendments on my colleague's desk. I move the amendments as favorable. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And I move the bill favorable as amended. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The bill uh, passes and we'll move on for third reading. Uh, at this time, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0470, zoning, conditional use conversion of a single family dwelling unit so four dwelling units in the R8 zoning district, variances 704 North Gilmore Street. Well, I'd like to recognize Vice President of City Council, the Chair of the Committee, the floor is yours. Bill number 23-0470 was also heard on April 2nd, 2024. It was voted favorable as amended. There are committee amendments on my colleague's desk. I move the amendments as favorable. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. <coughs> At this time, Madam VP, the floor is yours. And there are also findings of fact on my colleague's desk. I move the findings of fact. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Findings of facts are adopted. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And I move the bill favorable as amended. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. This bill is approved and will be printed for third reading. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0494, Chesapeake Bay Critical Area Overlay Zoning District, prohibited uses. At this, at this time, I'd like to recognize Vice President of Council, Chair of the Committee, the floor is yours. Thank you. Bill number 24-0494 was also heard on April 2nd, 2024. It was voted favorable. I move the bill as favorable. Second. At this time, uh, it's been uh, moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Madam VP, the floor is yours. And that's it. <coughs> That's it? Um, I do have something for third reader, but I guess we'll save that for the third reader. Do you want to do it now? Uh, we still have the Chesapeake Critical. The Chesapeake Bay? Yeah. We want to do that now? Are uh, we going to suspend the rules? Do you want to suspend the rules? Yeah, we have to suspend the rules. For okay. Mr. The, President, um, I move to suspend the rules um, to, for bill number 24-0494. 
uh, to move this bill to third reader. So there's a motion on the floor to suspend City Council Rule 12-1 uh, for second to, to third reader. It's, it's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Actually, uh, we have to take a roll call on that, guys. Madam Clerk, can you please call the roll. President Mosby, Cohen, aye. McCray, aye. Dorsey, aye. Conway, aye. Schleifer, Middleton, yes. Torrance, aye. Burnett, Bullock, aye. Porter, aye. Costello, aye. Ramos. The ayes have it. The bill uh, moves to third reading uh, for voting out today. Madam Clerk, if you could please go to Health, Environment, and Technology Committee. City Council Bill 23-0465, tree removal on city property, permits, and procedure. At this time, the body would like to recognize Chair of the Committee. Chairwoman McCray, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee held a hearing on the ordinance on Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Committee amendments were distributed to my colleagues before this meeting. I move the amendments. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments uh, are adopted. Madam uh, Chair, the floor is yours. Thank you. I move the bill favorably. Second. It's been As moved. amended. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The bill moves on for third reading. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next bill. City Council Resolution 23-0201R, informational hearing, medical waste incinerators. At this time, the body would like to recognize the chairwoman of the committee. The floor is yours, Madam Chair. Thank you again, Mr. President. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee also held a hearing on the resolution, on this resolution, on Wednesday, March the 20th, 2024. I move the resolution favorably. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Actually, we need roll call again. I'm sorry about that, Madam Clerk. If you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey. Yes. Conway. Aye. Schleifer. Middleton. Aye. Torrance. Aye. Burnett. Bullock. Aye. Porter. Aye. Costello. Aye. Ramos. The resolution is adopted now. Now we're going to turn to public safety and government operations. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 23-0427, Baltimore Police Department, Trauma-Informed Care Training. Well, I'd like to recognize Chair of the Committee, Chairman Conway. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. This bill was heard on March 20th and was voted favorably. I move the bill favorably. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The bill will be printed for third reading. Bills on third reading for same day advancement. We have one, Madam Clerk, if you could please call it in. These bills were, uh, sus uh, the rules 12-1 was suspended to allow this to occur today. Madam uh, Clerk, if you could please call the bill. City Council Bill 24-0494, Chesapeake Bay Critical Area Overlay Zoning District, Prohibited Uses. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Ramos. This bill is approved. Now we're going to turn to regular bills on third reading today. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 23-0351, rezoning 1801 to 1807 Bloomingdale Road and 1800 to 1816 North Rosedale Street. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0430, rezoning 2529 Georgetown Road. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0488, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR Arts and Culture, $581,334. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Ramos. This bill is approved, Madam Clerk. Next bill. City Council Bill 24-0489, Children, Youth, and Families Youth Commission Amendment. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Ramos. This bill is approved. Uh, and that wraps up uh, bills for the evening. 
Um, we're going to turn it over to committee announcements. Uh, chairs of committees, if you have an announcement, we're going to go over first to Vice President Sharon Green Middleton and ECD. Your floor is yours. Exteriors 3110 Elm Avenue. So that's going to be rescheduled. Also, bill number 23-0357, Strengthening Renters Safety Act will be rescheduled. And also um, rescheduling the voting session for bill number 23-0435 zoning code modifications. So on um, tomorrow the 9th, we will be having a voting session for uh, one other bill. Thank, Thank you. you. Are, are there any other committee announcements? Um, Chairman Conway, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Public Safety and Government Operations Committee will be meeting to hear Bill 24-0491, footwear repairs, citations, and billing on Wednesday, May, uh, May 22nd at 1 p.m. And I've got some uh, announcements for Ways and Means. Uh, the Ways and, Me Ways and Means Committee will be uh, meeting to hear Bill number 22-0273, sale of property uh, three, 3750 Green Spring Avenue on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Uh, Ways and Means will also hear Bill 24-0493, sale of property, 1807 Harlem Avenue on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024 at 10.01 a.m. And Ways and Means will hear LO 24-0061, briefing on fixed price policy and buy-in to be more program uh, on Tuesday, April 9th at 10.02 a.m. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, before we go to regular announcements, I would like to call attention to everybody. Um, please make sure you check the uh, schedule in May for council hearings. Um, that has slightly tweaked. We've canceled some and added an additional uh, ones, obviously, to fit around um, you know, all that's taking place in May. So please make sure you're on the lookout for that, your staff's on the lookout. There's one meeting that's really, really important. Uh, it's going to be at the beginning of May. Uh, it's going to be where we accept the ordinance of estimates and the other two adjoining bills associated with the budget. Uh, so we need folks here. It's going to be a quick meeting, uh, but it's an important meeting. So please remember to keep that uh, in mind. All right. At this time, we're going to go to regular announcements. Are there any regular announcements? Obviously. Uh, we all know that uh, someone near and dear to our heart uh, has experienced some significant loss. Uh, that's Councilwoman uh, Odette Ramos and her father. So we'd like to keep you and your father in prayer. Uh, he's going to get a very special moment of silence from us tonight. Um, you know, many things happen in life, uh, but we got to show up and do our job. And Councilwoman Odette Ramos, uh, through the entire period, um, informed us, um, but she always showed up checked in and she was still the same Odette Ramos to the city and uh, from the bottom of my heart, so we truly, truly appreciate that um, uh, Councilman Ramos and how hard it was for you. I could hear it in your voice when you contacted me uh, and I'd just like to say from the bottom of my heart, a person that's experienced not only death of both parents as well as grandparents, truly understand and know the position you were in uh, and the way that you handled that, so thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. President. I did, if you would allow me to um, Ask for a moment of silence for my father, Juan Ramos, uh, born and raised in Puerto Rico. Uh, he was a captain of the Air Force. He retired as a captain. Um, we ended up in Albuquerque, New Mexico because of the uh, Air Force. He became a teacher, um, a soccer and basketball coach, and very influential to a lot of young people. Um, he was also a coach of the year in New Mexico um, several times. Uh, my parents were uh, married for 52 years. Um, and uh, he was thrilled that my daughter uh, got his amazing um, 
flair for math and physics. I did not get that, but um, she did, and so uh, his legacy lives on through her. Um, also, I have, um, I think you all know, I've received his uh, passion and temper, um, but also his band handwriting. Um, so <laughs> we do have um, that in common as well. Um, my brother, my sister, and my mom and I will miss him very much. Um, there is a celebration of his life in Puerto Rico with the rest of our family later on this summer. Um, so thank you, Mr. President. No, thank you. Are there any other regular announcements? Um, obviously, part of the moment of silence, we're going to uh, also do a special tribute uh, to the six uh, workers uh, who lost their life uh, in the collapse of the Key Bridge. Um, we're going to take a little different approach uh, with them. Uh, Councilman, Vi uh, uh, Vice President is going to announce um, for a moment of silence uh, that we will take uh, for um, our uh, father by, by work uh, and Councilwoman Odette Ramos's father. Uh, then from there, um, we are going to have a moment of silence that we're going to allow Councilwoman Felicia Porter to initiate uh, for the six uh, workers who lost their life again uh, with the Key Bridge. Uh, and then we'll proceed on with another moment of silence for all the other um, uh, statistics that we utilize on a weekly basis. Do we have that covered? So we're going to go to Councilwoman, Councilman Vice President, and we're going to go to Councilwoman um, Porter, and then Council Vice President, as she always does. She's going to close us out with the regular moment of silence. All right. At this time, uh, Madam Vice President, if you could please adjourn us. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. And just quickly, I do want to add um, my first cousin to uh, the list for a moment of silence. Her name was Charlene uh, Poole Baysmore, which um, uh, she had a memorial service last week, um, <clears throat> lost her battle with uh, ovarian cancer. Uh, the next regular meeting of the Baltimore City Council will be held on Monday, April 15th, 2024 at 5 p.m. At this time, we will recognize a moment of silence for the now 51 victims of homicide this year and also the passing of Juan Ramos, the, the father of our colleague, Councilwoman Odette Ramos, uh, Charlene Poole Baysmore, and also the uh, six victims of the tragedy um, at the Key Bridge. Those six victims' names will be read by Councilwoman Felicia Porter. First, we're gonna have the first moment of silence. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to have a moment of silence for Juan Ramos. Thank you. Next, uh, we would like to recognize Councilwoman Porter. Thank you, Mr. President. Next, I'm going to read the names of the six victims of the Key, Key Bridge tragedy. Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, Miguel Luna, Menor Yasir Suazo Sandoval, Jose Menor Lopez, Dorilian Castillo Cabrera, Carlos Hernandez.
Thank you. There being no new business before the desk, this will conclude the 77th meeting of the 73rd term of your Baltimore City Council. Baltimore, we absolutely love you.